Hey YouTube, this is React Packs. I'm Nick. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Bacano episode 7. So, I actually don't fully recall what happened last time. We saw a lot of Rail Tracer. Well, right. Maybe not a lot. The result of Rail Tracer. Yeah. All and over the. the uh, inside the cabin place. Yes. Yeah. One of the white suits died. Jacuzzi's group has kind of resolved to. Actually, it didn't resolve to anything. They saw the rail tracer, and then they got scared. Yeah. We yeah. got scared, too. <laughs> yeah. They put off dealing with Lad, because La- they um they told Lad that the conductor was dead, and Lad was like, oh, let's check it out. Yeah. So they, they, they kind of... They got more under plate. And they were like, you gonna... They were to Jacuzzi, they were like, you're just gonna let him leave? And we were theorizing, were they talking about them being the one to beat him up? Like, Jacuzzi telling them to go beat yeah. him up? Or was Jacuzzi gonna do something? I'm on the side that Jacuzzi is, like, gonna, like... Like he has Hulk. a split personality that yeah. just comes out. And he's like, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, basically. Aggr- aggressive Canadian. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always thought it'd be great if Canada's war cry was, we're not sorry anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Anything else, guys? Um, and we also saw the senator's daughter get taken by the right? black, black suits. suits. Yes, black suits. Mm-hmm. Well, Chani of the black suits, because one of the white suits got killed. And there's only a few of those guys, so that's semi-important. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so the white suits have the mother, and the black suits have the daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is more important. Wait, the white suits have the mother? Yes, mm-hmm. because, well, she's in the cabin, and Lad knows that she's there, and he's like, we'll be back for you. Yeah, the, they had killed the black suits who had come to take the cabin. I know. I, I just, in my head, she was sitting with the black suits. I so, don't know. actually, technically, I guess nobody has it right now, but as far as black suits know, the white suits took the cabin. But then Lad left immediately after right. killing them. Right. So, yeah. Although the black suits are on, the, this is the cabin, the black suits are on that side, and Lad is moving this way. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I really think the black suits have her, have the senator's wife. No. Yes, they, they do. They do. They do. Because they had Lad her left in the her. radio room. Yes, and that they left her. Yeah, they're saying it all depends on what happens. Uh, depends on your husband or something, right? Right. Be- I remember they came <laughs> after Lad left, and they were like, you're the senator's what for it to you. And she's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that's why I was like, at the end, I was like, well, I guess the black suits have both of them now. <laughs> so much for saving the daughter. Uh-huh. Which, I mean, either way, they're still on the train. Everybody's on the train. Yeah. Dang, Chesla had one job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Chesla's also going to go see if he can get Lad, but... Yeah. This intro's getting a little long, so I think we should get in them. Okay, yeah. So, guys, thank you very much for being here. Guys, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Check out Patreon if you want to see the next episode one week early. So, thank you guys very much. We'll see you in discussion. 1711. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. It's the old rail tracer. Oh, oh. oh it's one of... It's the immortal sucky, sucky guy. guy. Vacuum. Mr. Hoover. <laughs> Mr. Hoover. I'm gonna call him that. <laughs> Mr. Hoover. The Alchemist Three is attaining the Grand Palace. The Chisla. Wait, we is it? Involve some devils. That is merely the price to pay for changing men. Are we sure that's a woman? Obviously, it's a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> but what if it is possible? Everyone should smile. Come on, smile. <laughs> smile. <laughs> Grandmaster Huey? Grandmaster Huey? And as all things have been, and arose from one by the medication of one, so all things have their birth from this one thing by adaptation. What? So one? His father, the moon, his mother. That is correct. Everything is linked in one closed circle. What's oh. his face? Who do you gather everyone together? Pharaoh's friend. We found what is closed. There's no sign of Pierre. Or oh, Hitler. Peter has gone too. What is happening here? That guy's a telling. Oh my gosh, uh, it's crawling. It yes. is the real dresser. Here I am. An impossibility to explain. I already know what you are thinking. Your desire is to know the secrets of immortality, yes? You alone, I will tell how to create what you call the Grand Panacea. What do I only mean? Drink this, and you will become immortal. Drink, and you will know everything. But first, you must drink. 
nothing more than a fake. Perhaps this will help you believe. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's running away. What if you spilled the drink right there? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Asking extra questions. Yeah. <laughs> there are certain conventions you must understand about immortality. What if the time comes when you wish to die? Seek out one of your friends and have them devour you. Yeah. Not in the traditional sense, but by their right hand. They simply place their right hand on your head and think, I wish to eat. And you will be absorbed completely into them. Your life will end. And the devourer will inherit all of your knowledge and experiences. Likewise, if you wish to give knowledge, place your right hand on the person's head. Nothing more. It will end with us. Nobody else must ever know it. See, it's too powerful. That is precisely why we must know how it is created. I don't agree. My faith in mankind must not be as steadfast as yours. Are you being sarcastic? This world will not withstand the weight of so many of us. You are making no sense! That may be true, but with all due respect, I feel deep inside that it is right to abide with the decision of the one who has been given this knowledge. To obey us. Can you see, bro? The decision rests solely with Maisa. If Ben May says it's right, then so do I. You're biased. <laughs> Maisa is correct. You let a child drink an immortality <laughs> potion. <laughs> This is not a question that we will find the answer to among ourselves today. And when will you make your choice? I mean... Oh, perhaps in a century or two. <laughs> we'll I mean, it's like a 70 to 1 I vote, it doesn't matter. I don't think it will ever be too late for us, no? With me. Are they celebrating or things have gone terrible? Uh-oh. Oh no! decision for me to share half of this knowledge with my brother. When you meet someone whom you trust, a truly good person, do not hesitate to come to me. And if I am no longer in this world, I am certain that you will be able to attain the secret of the elixir by combining your abilities and the knowledge I now give you. Thank God. Please, it's too much for me to bear. Just eat some. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna die. Dang. You must not be the one who starts it. He can't be trusted. Smile, Miser. With all eternity before him, even that old man might change. What is this? Oh dang. <laughs> oh. I beg you, Zilla, please don't do it! This is your punishment, Gretel. It was not right for you to let him play favorites with such unbelievable power. Zilla, please! Save me. I'm happy. Everyone's knowledge, everyone's feelings, everyone's desires. Mm. There is no limit to what I want to know in this life. I still want more. I still haven't eaten my field, Sylvie. He was the one. You took him. You can curse your fate for having been born that man's younger brother. But do not worry. Uh, and become okay, so we're just seeing how you should be a died. Oh. 
She faked it. Dylan, <laughs> what you have done to our comrades on this journey is inexcusable and can only be paid for with the ultimate price. Well, I'm glad she didn't drink, because yeah. now her. Unfortunately, the oh, man what's she loved your hand. Whoa. What is your hand doing? Come on and smile for me. Stop telling people to smile, bro. Yes, no. Well, I'm off to show that old man Zilla. Zilla? What could you possibly show that you bastard? That there's another way. Hey! Zilla! Listen to me a moment! What? What? <laughs> what the heck was it? No, <laughs> oh, the wrong half. But he's not dead, y'all. And why was he? What was he doing? What a strange way to get the old man's attention. <laughs> you are most unusual, fascinating. I will grant you one wish. I'm an Arabian genie. <laughs> yes, but you only get one wish, not three. All right, Ellen. I've decided. Hmm. <gasps> Sylvie, I know you don't want to, but please try to smile. Be happy, Sylvie. I'm sorry, why? <laughs> I truly did believe there was no other possibility. Still, that doesn't mean mm. I have to give up on you. You're being weird. She heard. He literally just died tonight. Smile. Come on, smile. Just smile. Smile. Oh, he saved a little. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. Or she saved a little. Oh, she saved her drink. Oh, I never foresaw it starting this way. It disturbs me that it looks like I am to blame, but the human race is greedy. Why are you speaking with me? Because you were there. We are both detached observers. We might as well try to get along with each other. I am just an interested party, that is all. Birds of a feather, as they say. Mm. I was certain this was going to be the time. What are you saying? Nothing at all. You might call it sentiment. It sounds as if you expected something from us. In time, perhaps. Who did? Hmm. That's all, the black guy. And then she's still alive. Mm. Is this Sylvie? We'll meet each other. Yeah, again. Sylvie. To be sure. That means she can. It's risky telling the room rise against us, but you could say this Gustavo character is not a very formidable opponent to have to face. I see. I like how his, then, his accents change. Yeah. It makes Fox sense. Fly us. You want us to stay out of it, is that it? I don't foresee any problems. I see. I can sense the presence of Zilla Lumen very near to us already. Do you not sense it as well? Is huh? that the blonde guy? That can't be the blonde guy. He's the son. What? 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 Oh, my brain. I didn't write anything down. <laughs> Discussion? Discussion. What blonde guy? The like, laughy guy? You're the guy who's like, just smile. Come on, just smile. Your lover just died, but just smile. Oh, you thought smile. it was him? I, I, uh, he's the only other blonde guy. It doesn't look like him, but... He did straight up say right there, he feels the presence of Zillard. Yeah. Yeah. So he knows about it. At least. Yeah. So, Zillard, is that the name of the guy that they the guy the master, so. mm. I, I couldn't I didn't catch his name anymore. I actually I didn't remember much of this episode, but I did remember laughing for like eight minutes <laughs> after I saw him fall off trying to do the handstand. Yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, hey, look at Rob <laughs> Just dies. Yeah. But he was trying to get his attention so that they could I don't know what they were Slice him. him. Eat him. See, He's like, I have to tell you no, something. He, he goes, he, before he goes up the stairs, he says, I have to show them there's another way. Yeah. What was the way? Yeah, standing what upside down. <laughs> show us the way. <sighs> so he seems to be very, that guy just very, I wouldn't even say don't take things seriously because he, he was taking things seriously. Yeah. He took it very seriously. But just laugh and everything's okay, maybe? I don't know. He also got a wish granted. We don't yeah. know what that wish yeah, is. Yeah, we don't know what that wish is. Yeah, so... I might go this part out. But yeah, so that whole summoning thing... I know that was creepy, but don't worry. That is actually... I'll just give a minor spoiler. 
That is not actually a devil. Yeah, I know. He's a homunculus. Ooh. What is so As far as the show and even the lore goes, there is no known devil. Cool. It's just homunculus. But yeah. I forgot his name already. Zillard? No, the the brother. Oh, I don't know. The older brother. Oh, the older brother. Oh. The one that survived? Miza. 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 Miza is the only one who got the the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the only one. But he's like, why me, though? And the homunculus is like. What? He's cutting that part out. Yeah. <laughs> and the the being the the being creature guy. He's like uh, may, maybe it was something like sentiment when he was talking to Huey. Mm -hmm. So perhaps sentiment. So perhaps there is something in that thing's past. Mm. Maybe he he wants to like humans, but he doesn't like them that much. But he wants to. There's a big question in here, though. Zillard was an immortal before. He drank the thing. Yeah, he was the one eating people up. Because he said, my appetite, it's been years. But my appetite never satiated. Oh, I don't know if that's... I, Is I'm that not what he meant? I, I, don't, I think the, the whole eating people thing was like we were flashing back and forth. So, I don't, but I, don't I mean, they're on a boat. So they're on a boat for like two years? No, no, no. I, I don't think he... I think he just was like talking metaphorically. I, I didn't take it as he meant he was a immortal that... Um, continue to be immortal I, I think it was he was just like saying i've been hungry before like uh, normal hungry but now i'm hungry. hungry but this is a different type of hunger. yeah okay yeah, that's what i was thinking it does all right um also so when he gave greta the knowledge from what we know of sal's art he's able to make an impure product because he had all those older guys who which kept means he, did, he only yeah. told him like a part of it yeah so he told greta yeah. half of it yeah so he knows how to cease your ability to dying, but there's also a different part of it that ceases your aging as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So it's multiple things. This mm -hmm. old guy is really bad at playing the long game, I gotta say. I mean, <laughs> like, he, like immediately, immediately yes. tries to start eating people up. You're outnumbered on a boat in the middle of nowhere. You have nowhere to go. Yeah. Like, I say, you, can't even, up, you gotta friend up people. You can't even... He can't even... Um, like steer the shit by himself. Nah. Can you see him like trying to like? <laughs> and he's get it still to port? an old guy. Sure, he does that weird he crawly got moves. thing. Yeah. He, he did like a full flip over the black guy and jumped, went upstairs like super fast. Yeah. Which is weird that. Which is, which is weird that he walks with a cane now. I was gonna say like, so we were thinking, oh, he got the immortal juice, like he made the immortal juice, but it wasn't good enough. But he got the immortal juice. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it looks like. He never aged, obviously. He still looks the same. Is he putting on an act? I think so. He Maybe he is. Like, he wants to pretend that he does. He has, like, fake immortal um, recipe or pa partial recipe and, like, playing out these men to, to kind of do what he says. I, I think those guys know that he's a full immortal. I think the idea is he's the Grand Master because he's figured it out and he can promise the disciples a version of immortality but mm. he's on this path to get the true version and he will share it with his followers mm. because he he wants knowledge first and foremost mm. because from the very beginning he's like um he's about rationality he's about science so once he figures out there's this thing he wants to know how it works and because might as well let him know how it works he's like he freaks out he, he needs to know how mm -hmm. Um, which is why once we see him with that council of people I feel like he could have gotten a lot more done over the centuries Like he, yeah. he could have gotten like a wider network or more people but no it's a tight knit group because it's about the knowledge it's not about just the power but he wants power yeah. speaking of which that group are so all international like who, mm -hmm. who that what, what kind of group were they that they were from all over the world come together to meet yeah. in the middle of the sea to do this this ritual? Maybe not, maybe not to do this ritual, but maybe they talked about, I want to do something and I want you all to be here. And then they did that. Well, that boat looked like colonial age type boat. It was 1700s. 1711. Okay, so that's actually way farther ahead than I thought. But, um, After America. Oh, no, 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 way before. Uh, 1775 is America. But, uh, no, six, uh, Connecticut was established in 16. Oh, oh, oh you're I, just meant, talking about, I meant the nation. Yeah. I like uh, the forming of the United States, but mm. yeah. Um, I was... Um, I, I genuinely don't know if they answer it in this, and I don't know otherwise, so I'm guessing as well. I kind of assume that because they're so international, it's kind of a thing where, A, they're at an Illuminati of sort, <laughs> because they already had the alchemists, they like, all mm -hmm. believed in alchemy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or B... 
they're fleeing um, persecution. Mm. And so they just gathered up all these people who have been fleeing and they on the boat and they're going somewhere. Mm. But while on the boat, they're talking about this thing that they have the ability to do. Mm. So. Interesting. Do you lose the ability to swim after you become an immortal? <laughs> <laughs> it's like taking gum gum fruit. I thought the same thing when I started dropping the water. Yeah, and he just like floats. He's just like, well, I guess Bye. he's just gonna stay here. I, I think he might have like knocked himself unconscious because remember he like, oh, slammed yeah, he his did face hit, forward. Hit his head, yeah. Yeah. But the the being was like maybe talking to him in his mind. Yeah. I'm really curious what what wish he was granted. I wonder what he asked. But the thing is, he is so ridiculous. I feel like that wish is nonsense. <laughs> yeah, he is kind of weird. Mm. I d- I don't I really don't understand him. The only reason, because I mean, like, if you see somebody do that, it's like, I want to know what this guy would wish for. Yeah, yeah. And then Master Huey, um, he also was speaking, well, I'm calling him Master Huey, he became Master yeah, Huey eventually. Yeah. yeah. He was speaking to the being, mm-hmm. and and he says something, I, 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 I wasn't quite catching exactly what you're saying, because I think you, we were talking. Yeah. Um, like, he said something to him about, like, his plan, like, the, the being said something about his plan, and he was like, what? Um, so he eventually, like at this point in the show, it, he, he was like, oh, I'm just detached. I'm just watching. But then he eventually comes up, comes to some, I don't know, dogma of his life that he, he creates this group mm-hmm. of black suits. So, um, of, of black suits, black suits, the black oh. suits on the train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, we jumped, <laughs> jumped a couple centuries. They, not the actual suits. People <laughs> in the suits. Yeah, I heard black suits. I was like, what the heck is a black suit? <laughs> Yeah. yeah so Interesting. I realized because even though they flash some of them we don't see all the immortals mm-hmm. and so it's like the world is peppered with these people that they've all chosen different paths mm-hmm. um, Liza not Liza the girl became a singer it seems like mm-hmm. and the black guy is doing some kind of alchemy himself but, um, so yeah but he also grew a beard and it looked almost white for a second but no and then now also yeah, yeah one last thing um, I'm just really happy Misa is I think Misa is on the good team because he, at least in, we saw him, he meets with the group that we know, with Chesla, looks at Chesla and smile, and he, he also was, I think, oh yeah, we know he's going to be, we know he's going to be friends with Firo, because he's in that Komorista group, um, and I, I, I don't remember, but I think we saw him when Isaac and Miria, when, in that scene where Isaac got his ear cut, and it was like, oh, he's healed. Mm-hmm. So I take it he's the one, he's the source of the immortal juice for them. Plot twist, Chesla is not a kid, he was just a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you being serious? No, of course okay. he's not being serious. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I think, he, but seriously, but he's been alive lets, for so long, he's like, this. Is it, he's basically an adult in a kid's who body. Who lets a child take immortal juice? Yeah, it's always the thing, like, immortals in any fiction, it's like they hate the fact that they're still a kid, because everyone looks at them as a kid. What they should have done is, like, do whatever that thing lights the girl had, Put one in him for him. Yeah, and, like, and then wait whenever till you, you want, go. you can take it. But yeah. wait for like probably when you're older. Mm-hmm. It seems to keep your form as well. Exactly. So it's like all right, get, get shredded <laughs> and drink this. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. So now I'm really curious. Is like you you kind of made me think um, maybe Isaac wasn't the immortal that he sensed Chesla on the train. So I'm wondering if one of Jacuzzi's group is an immortal. Well, there's a lot of people that we didn't really get. Yeah, to we didn't. On. Yeah, there are a lot. And we so. haven't seen a lot of those other guys since. Yeah. yeah so. We we'll only have confirmation that the the dreadlocks dude is somewhere else, and the singer is somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay. Okay. So there is Miza, um, dreadlocks guy, Sil, Sil, Sylvie, Sylvie, blonde guy, blonde guy, Chesla. Chesla. Yeah, and at the minimum twelve other people. Well, we Minimal. don't know if they're still alive. They might have been devoured. They might oh, yeah, have a bunch of them yeah. were. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like three. Mm. Three on the boat, at least. Yeah. But there's a lot of people. Like, there's a crowd. Yeah. I guess around 30 people. It was a boat full of people, and I think everybody drank some. Mm. I wonder who Mr. Can't See Through My Hair is. <laughs> he's he's going to be important because he has hair on his yeah, face. Yeah, so when he cuts his hair and he becomes a totally different looking person, mm. nobody's going to know who it is. Yeah. But for real though, what was his plan? You're just going to devour everybody one by one, all 30 of them? Like, 
was just, dude. So maybe that's why he was able to move the way it did. Maybe by devouring you and getting your information, it accelerates, like, you get all their physical experience and mm-hmm. it compounds rather than... Oh, yeah, that else. crawling thing that he was doing. Yeah, he was so fast. And mm-hmm. again, he jumped over that black guy. Mm-hmm. So maybe all that stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and did the black guy, like, slice his arm off with his arm? No, he had a machete. It was oh, very hard to see, something. but it was machete. I didn't see... Uh, I saw him like this. I was yeah. like, what's... Yeah, he had a machete with a razor's edge, but the machete was black for some reason. Yeah, that's all right. Odd, odd uh, scene design, but okay. And mm-hmm. I had one question being, do you think Miser was right in keeping, in the, keeping information? the information? Well. Because all of them wanted immortality. They all wanted it. They all mm-hmm. desperately wanted it. But once they got it, they said, no, it's ours. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. Or, in, in, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I, I get the argument, but it's kind of like, but you're kind of being hypocritical. Mm-hmm. Now that you've gotten it, you don't want anybody to have it. But you spent your whole life searching for it. Like, why is it not anywhere, you know? Yeah. I, I wonder if it has something to do with something he knows. Like something the, the being told him. Yeah. yeah. It, the thing is, they put a lot of weight in the fact that the being chose him. Mm-hmm. He's the one who did the ritual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That could have just been it. It could have just been, if, if it was anyone else who chose to do it, it could have been that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like, I was the one who was chosen. You're the only one who knew how to do it, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So I just, I, personally, I think he made the right choice, but at the same time, I think it's murky enough where you could make an argument either way. I'm not saying Salazar was right. I think he was an idiot and stupid to do what he did. Who? Sal- Salazar, the, the guy who started eating people. Thank you. Oh, I thought it was Zillard. Mr. Hoover. Salazar? I, I don't know. <laughs> I have the same words. <laughs> but, Mr. Okay. Hoover. Mr. Hoover. Okay. Yeah, uh, Master no, Hoover. I, I think he was definitely wrong. I think Miza was trying to do the right thing. It's just given the circumstances, it seemed hypocritical. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if maybe it's trying to put it in a light of maybe he wasn't right. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. But I think also it was... In in my opinion, it felt more like it was trying to say Miza was correct mm-hmm. and kind of emphasized to me the greediness of I'm gonna call him oh no Master he- Master Hoover yeah um and it it made me feel like no he was wrong I I didn't really feel like they were they were pushing for us right. to question it honestly I it it's I mean me generally thinking I don't. Having a whole world full of immortals is yes. a really bad idea. Yeah, kind of scary. <laughs> I mean, especially if, like, Master Hoover already got it and he's already making a whole mess. Yeah. yeah. So you can just imagine. Yeah, I, I wasn't even, like, thinking on the scale of the whole world. I was thinking on the scale of we are in this brotherhood this now group, by default yeah. of doing this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So why not? Why should we not be privy to the information that you gained? Yeah. Like, what separates you from us? Yeah, true. I was just worrying about that. Because realistically, there's nothing that separates them. Mm-hmm. And he said his brother is the only person on the boat that he trusts. Okay, then why did we decide to all have immortality together? Yeah, you know, like, he says it should only be me because the being bestowed it on me, so that must mean something. Then he gives it to his brother. Yeah. Which, inherently, there's a bias there. Yeah. So it's just... So, sorry. So I, I, I can't just look at it as it's showing, you know, humanity the way it works and the way things grow, you know. Yeah. It, what would have been interesting if he gave everybody a piece of what oh, he yeah. had. Yeah. That would have been that'd smart. That would have been more fair. I yeah. Guess. That way although, you could, had to work together in order to get anything done. I would have, I, I was about to say, although that would might cause uh, more likelihood for them to devour like, each yeah, other. Yeah, because then they'd but get But the thing the is, there's still the likelihood that they'll just devour him. The being said, he thought it would happen. He just didn't think it would happen that fast. Yeah. But he's, he was also hoping for something else. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it was just ho- in good faith he put it. He gave him the mm. stuff. I think it might have actually been in good faith because we didn't see hear any detractions. Like there are no negatives to this. I'm giving this to you. I want to see what you do with it. Yeah, that's yeah. the other thing. I was waiting for the other shooter drops. Yeah, like I, the whole time. Like okay, and they like, all drank it. Now, now are you gonna tell us? You're, you're you're destined to be alone forever. <laughs> so. You can never meet up. No hangouts. <laughs> Don't get rid of your phone numbers. <laughs> You're all now ghosts. <laughs> like black suits. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he found kinship with Huey because he's also detached and watches. So mm-hmm. that kind of informed me about the being. Perhaps he just wants to watch and see what happens. Mm-hmm. And maybe, do you think the being is keeping in touch with Huey and maybe that's what's made him come to the, like, 
thinking about, oh, I'm going to form this group. I'm going to do this or do that. I'm not even sure if Huey has formed a group. I think maybe it's just one of your tapping Sorry. the thing. Like a cult of personality grew up on its own. Grew yeah. around him. It's like, oh, this guy is awesome. And he's just doing his thing. And they're like, you're so... Um, it's like uh, the SCP Cthulhu. Like yeah. people just keep following him. Yeah. And he's just like, I just want to <laughs> play video games. I mean, he's well known enough that he's in jail. Yeah. And the government is like looking into this mm. so I, mean, it's, I would say it has something to do with his immortality in the, oh, in the senator 100 percent. i would just say that I, I think that adds to your theory yeah is that if, if he's well known enough that he could be in jail and the government's looking into it some people could have found out and like all right guys hear me out immortality all right you in you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Done. of all the things for uh, mr immortal uh miser to decide to do he's like I'm gonna join the mafia. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get a New that. York accent and join the mafia. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I have no idea why you did that. <laughs> I mean, you're you're living your life forever. You might as well have some fun along the way, right? Just Is join a fun? group of people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, and one last thing. I do think the immortality thing boosts your stats a little bit because he's known to be like extremely good. Fighting, oh, so that's right. Like, which well, put, I I, I kind of put that in. Maybe he just learned over time. Over time. Yeah, I mean, he's he's had literal literally lifetimes to master this I, thing. I'm just trying to explain how that man jumped over that dude. So yeah. slick. So he's supposed thinking, to get old. I was yeah. thinking maybe the more he ate, the stronger he got. That's all I'm thinking. Mm. But yeah. And what is the hunger that they're talking about? I didn't quite understand that. He no one like, else has exhibited it. No. And he did it immediately. Everyone was trying to chill on this boat. Yeah, so having I, parties. I mean, even when the guy the the guy was explaining that you you devour people this way, he's like, I can't wait. Yeah, you're <laughs> shaking. Yeah, I, I I chalk that up to a personality trait of this guy just hungers for knowledge, and it transferred his, the way, once he learned he could literally eat knowledge, it, like it made something change in him. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like it's the the Maybe. idea of how he was always arrogant. It could be the the idea of how. Um, Money kind of amplifies your personality. Yeah. So this power, or power does that too. So he has this new power and it just amplified what was already there. Yeah. What if that's why he wants the whole world to get the the immortal stuff? Because he's like, free buffet. <laughs> does he want the world to get stuff? Well, he was like, let's share it. Let's share the knowledge. I don't know if he wants the world to have it. but anyway. I think he just wanted to know it. Yeah. Uh, mm, I never thought about that. Mm. Genuinely, I, I always took that as... Let's share it as in he just wants to get it mm-hmm. and then we'll start eating. But that, that that puts an interesting play on it. If because we did see the old man, perhaps he did want to share with the world, mm. but uh. that wouldn't be good for the world, <laughs> no. But yeah, all right, I think that's it. Yeah, all right, guys, thank you very much for being here. Guys, like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And remember to check Patreon in the description if you want to see next week one week early, as well as any other things we have in early access. So, thank you guys again for being here. You guys have been great. See you guys next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, bye. And special thanks to Titan Machine, Kay, Beelzebub, Zenith, Doge, and Jackie.